When I first started working as a dietitian, I remember working with this one client and she was absolutely terrified that she was diagnosed with diabetes. And I remember her asking me, am I gonna have to give up everything I love to eat? And I told her, absolutely not. Let's actually start first by figuring out what we can add to your diet instead of eliminating things completely. We started by adding some things into her diet. And that something is what we're gonna talk about today. For those of you who are new here, I'm Diana, I'm a registered dietitian and I'm a certified diabetes care and education specialist. And those of you who are our subscribers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna dive into one specific group of vegetables that can really help manage and even reverse type two diabetes. But first, if you're here for simple science-backed ways to take control of your health, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So we've obviously all heard that vegetables are good for us, but for people with prediabetes or type two diabetes, the reasons are especially important. They're loaded with fiber, which helps to stabilize blood sugar. They provide antioxidants to help inflammation, and they can be very satisfying without contributing a lot of calories. But today I want to highlight a special group of vegetables that really goes above and beyond this, especially for diabetes. And this group of vegetables is cruciferous vegetables. So cruciferous comes from the little cross-like shape of that their flowers make, which is a very cute way to remember them. So common cruciferous vegetables include things like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, bok choy, arugula, turnips, radishes, watercress, chard, etc. And they're not just nutritious, they are very powerful for diabetes. So let's talk about why. So first and foremost, fiber. Fiber is really an unsung hero for blood sugar control. And all cruciferous vegetables contain two kinds of fiber, insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Soluble fiber helps to slow down how sugar enters your bloodstream. And insoluble fiber helps to keep things moving in your gut and it helps to create a happy, healthy gut. I mean, just broccoli alone, one cup of broccoli contains five grams of fiber. That's about 20% of the fiber you need in a whole day. But that's not all. Hydration also matters when it comes to diabetes. When your body's dehydrated, sugar becomes more concentrated in your blood. So that's why it's very, very important to make sure you're drinking enough water or eating your water. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli are over 90% water. So they're not only nourishing you, but they're also hydrating you as well. Now here's where things get really interesting. Cruciferous vegetables contain a compound called glucoraphanin. And when cruciferous vegetables are chewed or chopped up, that glucoraphanin turns into something called sulforaphane. And sulforaphane is honestly a nutrient superhero. It does so many impressive things in our body. It reduces inflammation. It protects the insulin producing cells of our pancreas. And it also activates this pathway called NRF2. And this pathway is our body's natural antioxidant defense system. So it basically helps to protect our cells. Sulforaphane also has shown to suppress gluconeogenesis, which basically means it reduces how much our liver releases glucose into our bloodstream. And let's look at the bigger picture here. In this study that looked at almost a million people, it found that those who ate the most amount of cruciferous vegetables had a 13% lower risk of developing diabetes. And then there's this other really interesting 2021 trial that divided people into three different groups of vegetables. Vegetables. One group ate very strong, bitter tasting cruciferous vegetables. Another group ate more mild cruciferous vegetables. And the third group ate more standard vegetables. So super interesting, but all groups saw improvements in their blood sugar. But the group that ate the more stronger, bitter tasting vegetables saw four times improvement in their fasting blood sugar than the other groups. They also saw bigger improvements in their cholesterol and body fat reduction. So yes, eating more vegetables in general is going to help, but focusing more on cruciferous vegetables is going to give you that extra metabolic edge. It really goes to show you how unique compounds in plants can really give you different metabolic benefits. Cruciferous vegetables are also very budget friendly. Broccoli costs about $1.50 a pound, and oftentimes you can find frozen ones that are even cheaper and just as nutritious. So although cruciferous vegetables are a superfood, they're also very affordable and attainable, and you can cook them in a variety of ways. You can have them raw in salads or as sides. You can steam them, roast them, saute them. You can add them to soups, stews, 
casseroles, you name it. They really are so versatile, especially cauliflower. I feel like cauliflower rice has become so popular. So use that. Definitely add cauliflower to your meals. Cauliflower can transform into rice, into crusts. It can make soups more creamy. So find ways you can add variety into your vegetables so that you don't get bored of them. Okay, so how do you get started? Well, you want to aim for anywhere between three to five servings of vegetables a day. And so half a cup of cooked vegetables is a serving or one cup of raw vegetables is a serving. So my recommendation is to make one of those servings, at least one of those servings, cruciferous vegetables. That way you're getting the benefits without feeling like you're overdoing it. And of course, if you want to do more than one serving, go for it. If you don't have easy access to fresh vegetables, remember you can pick frozen and canned varieties as well. They're going to be just as nutritious. Just check those labels, make sure there's no added fat or sodium or sugar. You want to make sure they're as plain as possible. That way you can season them yourself. You have more control over what's going on. And if you do pick canned, just make sure you pick low sodium or make sure you rinse it really well. So the takeaway of this video is managing type 2 diabetes doesn't need to be overwhelming or bland. Start by making small simple changes and and I think a good tip for a lot of people is to start with what can you add to your diet instead of let me eliminate everything because sometimes that can be too overwhelming and I find that people give up quicker so first start with what can I add and I think a very easy add to the diet is going to be cruciferous vegetables they're known to be a very powerful group of vegetables they're going to reduce inflammation in the body they're going to help stabilize your blood sugar and they're going to offer benefits beyond those as well and they're affordable and versatile so start there and let me know how it goes all right if this video helped please give it a thumbs up share it with someone you care about and hit subscribe for more videos like this thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.